Okay. So here I'm showing you the cont uh, contents of my talk. It will be about 10 minutes for the presentation. Let me start from the overview of Tokyo Tech. Now you are looking at the enlarged image of Tokyo and we have three campuses in Tokyo area. Two of them are in Tokyo metro city area and one of them in uh, Kanagawa prefecture. Tokyo Tech was originally founded as Tokyo Vocational School by the government, Japanese government in 1881. We have very long history, almost 140 years. Two years ago, Tokyo Tech received the status of designated national university in Japan. In this slide, I'm showing you the students' composition and the school organization. Graduate schools, the number of the graduate school, the student number of the graduate school is larger than the undergraduates. And I hope that the number of the undergraduate, uh, undergraduate students, especially for the international students, will be increased in near future. And international students coming from all over the world as shown here, and they are studying hard, as they are studying hard in Tokyo Tech. As you can see, many international students come from Asian countries. Next, I will talk about characteristics, a uh, characteristic point of education in Tokyo Tech. Actually, we have reformed the ed education system in 2016. So this year is the fifth year and we are continuously improving for a better education system. Previously, there was a curriculum discontinuity between the undergraduate and the graduate schools. By reforming the education system, we have reorganized our university into six schools, including 19 departments. Its main feature is, the, uh, main feature is that the student can receive consistent education from undergraduate to graduate level. This slide shows the composition of all departments and schools in Tokyo Tech. First year students who passed the entrance examination will belong to one of the school. And when he or she goes on to the, uh, on the uh, second year, all students will belong to individual department. When you go on to the uh, graduate school, you can choose many, many uh, majors, many types of ma majors. To let you understand the characteristics of each school and the department, I will briefly introduce the key phrase of each school and the name of the department in the following slides. The first one is the school of science. The key phrase is exploring the truth and creating knowledge. In this school, there are four departments, mathematics, physics, chemistry, earth and planetary science. Next one is the school of engineering. The key phrase of this school is creating new industries and advancing civilization. There are four departments, uh, five departments. Mechanical engineering, I'm belonging to this department. Systems and control engineering. Electrical and electronic engineering. Information and communication engineering industrial engineering and economics. As the third school, I would like to introduce materials of chemistry, uh, chemical and technology. The key phrase of this school is encompassing the dis uh, dis uh, disciplines of science and engineering. In this school, 
there are two departments. Materials science and engineering. Chemical science and engineering. First one is the school of computing. The key phrase of this school is creating the future information society. In the school of computing, there are two departments, mathematical and compu uh, computing science, computer science. Fifth one is the school of life science and technology. The key phrase of this school is unravel the complex and diverse phenomena of life. There is only one department, which the uh, department name, name is life science and technology. The last one is the school of environment and society. The key phrase of this school is adapting environments to shifting attitudes. In the school of environment and society, there are three departments in the undergraduate and the graduate levels. And I'm sorry three measures in the graduate level. Department of Architecture and Building Engineering, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Transdisciplinary Science and Engineering. At the graduate level, Social and Human Sciences, Technology and Innovation Management and Department of Innovation Science. Okay, in the next slide, I would like to introduce the research activity in Tokyo Tech. Here I'm showing you the, uh, I'm summarizing the international standing in education and research of Tokyo Tech. QS means QS World University Rankings. I'm sorry that the data shown in this slide is a little bit old, but please look at this slide. As you can see, the, the, the field of engineering and technology, Tokyo Tech is ranked 14th in the world, second in Japan. In the field of natural science, 24th in the world and third in Japan. And this slide summarizes the recent research awards of people related to Tokyo Tech. President Dr. Masu has already announced the famous uh, professors, uh, honorary professor Osumi and Shirak uh, Professor Shirakawa. Also, I would like to uh, introduce uh, honorary professor Hosono uh, for his, uh, he has, uh, Dr. Hosono uh, received the award of Thomson Reuters Citation Laureates in 2013 for his discovery of iron-based superconductors. Okay, in the next slide, I would like to uh, show you the uh, virtual experience to Tokyo Tech. This is the main building of Tokyo Tech. The main building was built in 1934 and it is the second oldest building in the campus. Because the main building was built after the great, earth, uh, great Kanto earthquake in tw uh, 1923, it has excellent earthquake resistance. This is Centennial Hall and it is the Museum of Tokyo Tech. You can see many, many items relating to technology in the second floor. This is the field of baseball, football, and some other sports. Can you see a, a strange black building behind the railway? This is the Environmental Energy Innovation Building. The black wall of the building is made of solar panels. Its number is over 4,500. Therefore, the electricity used in this building can be almost supplied by this system. This picture shows the cafeteria space in the campus. 
since there are many international students from Islamic countries, halal recommended menus are also available. Now we return to the front of the main building and you can see very sharp and uh, clean building on the right hand side. This is the library of Tokyo Tech. This library is called a cheesecake because of its shape above the ground level. I would like to introduce one new building. Actually, uh, this building is under construction, but uh, this building, uh, this, uh, new, this new building is being built with donations from graduates of our Tokyo Tech. And please note that these are the uh, picture, these pictures are rendering the image and it will open very, very soon. We hope that you can feel the cheerful and fun atmosphere inside and outside of this building. Important point is the concept of this building. The concept of this building is that international students and Japanese students meet here, deepen their ties with each other, each other and create a wonderful future together, okay? Of course, students who have enrolled in Tokyo Tech study very hard, but that is not all. Activities in athletic clubs, creative clubs, many new ex experiences await you in Tokyo Tech. Thank you for listening to my introduction of Tokyo Tech. And if you want to know more about the Tokyo Tech, please visit our official website.